Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another Cornerstone Quick Tips tutorial. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video we are going to have some fun with conditional logic. Now I'm going to try to keep things as simple as possible here, but what I also want to show you how powerful conditional logic really can be. So we are going to take a look at two different aspects of this. Now if you are not familiar with conditional logic at all, I am going to show you how you access that. Here we are on our homepage and I have a section here and I'm going to go ahead and just give this section a little bit of a background color just so that we can kind of see what is going on here. Once I've given it that background color, let's just go ahead and add an element in here too that says something like Thursday's meal specials, something like this here. This is going to be a container that talks all about our meal specials on Thursdays. Now, if this is specific to Thursdays, we might not want to show this on other days of the week. And this is where conditional logic comes in. Now to access conditional logic, you can click on any element. We could click on the text element and click customize and see that we can add conditions to the text element. In this case, we just want to hide this whole section, which is our Thursday specials. So we're going to click on the entire section, click on customize and come down to conditions. So we're going to come in here. We're going to click add condition group. And the first thing you'll notice is a bunch of options right here. But for what we want to achieve, we're going to go ahead and select string. And the first thing that you'll notice here is that we have access to our dynamic content. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to type in date and we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom where we see our current date. Now we don't want to pull through the full date. We just want the day of the week. So we're actually going to click on the cog here and under global format, we're going to click that drop down and choose custom format. Now what we're going to add in here, we want the day of the week. And if you jump over to php.net, you can look up some of the formatting for this, but you'll notice that a full textual representation of the day of the week is represented by a lowercase. L. So we're going to jump back in here and under our custom format, we're just going to type in L. So we are basically saying, and it's going to disappear. We want the current day of the week to equal or is Thursday. And when we do that, it's going to show up. Now, if the day was Friday, you'll notice it disappears. If the day was Wednesday, it disappears. But as soon as that day, which today is Thursday. So as soon as that day is Thursday, it's going to show up again. Now, what if you did have this set to Friday? And you wanted to still work on it, but it's not Friday, so it's disappeared. Well, Cornerstone makes this super easy for you. You simply come up to your preview pane up here and under element conditions, we're simply going to say ignore. So while you're working in Cornerstone, it's ignoring any of those conditions so that you can work on them here. But once you go to the front end of the website, the conditions are going to persist. So things are going to function on that end. So this is a nice way to continue working on things that might have conditional logic applied to them. So this is one example of how to show or hide something based on some of the default items within WordPress. But what if we wanted to tie things together? Let's say we wanted ACF to control a layout we were working on. So let's actually do that together. We're going to jump into the back end of WordPress here. We're going to make sure that we've selected pro and we're going to scroll down until we get to our bundled extensions. Now I want to go ahead and install ACF pro and activate it. And I just want you guys to see how easy this really is to do from start to finish. So what we're going to do is refresh our page here. We'll now see ACF on the left hand side. We're going to create a new post type within this post type. We're going to call this locations location, give it a key and go ahead and save. If you've never worked with custom post types before, that's what we just created here. Once you've done that, you'll see location on the side here. Now we're going to go into field groups and we want to add some fields that we assign to the location custom post type. So let's click add field group and we're going to add a field. Let's call it a true false. Now you'd add a bunch of these, but for the sake of example, we're just going to go with one. We're going to call it true false and it's going to be show contact info. So we're going to give it a name of show contact info here. And we're going to jump over to presentation here. I'm going to enable the stylized UI because I like that for my clients. And we're basically going to say that we want this to be on and this to be off. Now let's go ahead and title this for our location and let's assign it to post type is equal to location. We'll go ahead and save. And now when we jump into location here and we click add new, we can add location a and you'll notice that we have that toggle that we created right here. Now when the toggle is on and we save, this field has a positive integer. So it has a one and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So let's go here and click publish. And I'm using a nifty little plugin called JSM show post meta to show you guys this here. But if I scroll down, you'll see we have our field that we created show contact info and it has a one. If I turn this off and I save, we now have show contact info and it is zero. So now we can identify this field with a value. If it's zero, it's off. If it's one, it's on. So let's go ahead and turn this on 
and click update. And now let's come over here and create our single layout. Now we're going to use conditions in two ways here. The first thing we're going to do is label this as our location layout. We're going to jump into settings and under conditions, we are actually going to assign this to our post type is location. So now this template is going to apply to that location post type that we created. Let's go ahead and save that and we'll click from scratch. Now let's create two sections. So our first section here, let's go ahead and just for the sake of example, we'll make this green. We're going to make this one kind of a light blue. Now this green section is going to have our post title in it. And we'll go ahead and throw this in here. And you might be saying to yourself, why does that say article seven? Well, we want to jump up to our preview pane and make sure that we are previewing location. And in our case, that's going to be location a. Now we're seeing the title being properly pulled through here in this section here. Let's go ahead and call this our contact info section, just for the sake of labeling things here. And maybe we have some contact info here. Now that contact info might be in an ACF field or something like that. But for the sake of example, we'll just put some text in here. And this is our contact info, right? So we have location a and that locations contact info here. Now we want to tie this to that ACF field to show or hide it. So here's how we're going to use conditional logic to do that. We're going to select this section. We're going to come up to customize. We're going to go into conditions. We're going to go into our number expression. We're going to open up our dynamic content here and we're going to type in ACF. We're going to click on post field and we should see our show contact info equals one here. So we're going to go ahead and click on that add a plus. So this is grabbing our contact info field and we only want to show this if it does equal one. Now there are other options here. You can click this and say it does not equal one or it is greater than one or it is greater than or equal to one or it is less than one or it is less than or equal to one. But we are going to stick with equal to one. Now we are going to go ahead and save this layout and then we're going to go and view it on the front end. So here we have location A and their contact info. Let's jump back to location A, turn this off, update, jump back into location A and refresh and contact info is gone. Come in here, turn it back on, update, come over here, refresh, and there it's back. And now you've seen firsthand some really cool ways to leverage conditional logic in your designs. As always, I hope you guys have found this video useful and happy building.